Greetings everyone, Jake Bernstein, Weekly Capital Markets Report. This is your trading lesson for the week beginning the 22nd of July. Being recorded on Friday the 19th of July at 2.06 p.m. in Santa Cruz, California. People have often asked me, what is the exact relationship between the weekly and the daily charts? There are many ways to look at this. Some people say only buy if the daily and the weekly and the intraday are going up. Some people don't believe in that at all. Let me show you my take on the relationship. Here is the daily chart. We come down to the bottom of the moving average channel or lower and we say the chart doesn't look good for whatever your reason may be. No worries. You want to be a buyer because the trend is up. You change to the weekly chart like so. Let me do that for you and take a look at the weekly chart. Ask the question. Let me bring up the weekly. Ask the question. Is the weekly chart still up based on the indicators? Yes. The answer is really simple, therefore you want to be a buyer. Where? At the bottom of the last completed bar, the bottom of the weekly channel, which is right over here now. 28.76, let me look at it again. 28, let me get that up here. 28, data window, one moment please. The best way to do it is with the data window. Moving average channel, a low is 28.80.75 so you would be a buyer at 28.80.75 provided you're willing to accept the risk of two times the width of the channel but it would be a weekly trade the weekly trade gets you in therefore using the weekly target as your target that would be the top of the moving average channel that's how I combine the two if on the other hand you go to the daily chart and it's pointing lower you're afraid to buy even though it's, even though it's at or below support Look at the weekly chart. If the weekly chart is now definitely in a downtrend, your daily trade becomes more risky. That does it for today. I hope you enjoyed the trading lesson. Thanks for being here. If you have any questions, I'm Jake at trade-futures.com.